Hi, I'm Rick Meyer, the technical director for Risa Competizione. This is a 430 GT. It's very similar to the car you can buy in the showroom. Let me show you what we do to make it a race car. The first thing we do is we put big tires on the car. You've got to have more grip. This is the most important thing of, of, of any race car is the tires. It's the only thing that touches the ground. And one of the other things we do is a much bigger brake package. Let me show you more detail on the brakes. These are steel brakes because that's for the rules, but it's the biggest piece we can actually fit inside the rim. The brake pads are different as well. They're probably twice as thick as a street car because we go through a lot of brakes. We'll go through almost a millimeter of brake pad every hour in this car. The other big difference, obviously, is brake cooling. We have to dissipate the heat somehow. We've got ducting behind the, the brakes here, and we have the ducting coming in from the front on top in the nostril and the bottom underneath the radiator. Now we're at the engine. And you think since this is a race car, this will have more power than your street car, than your personal 430, but this is not necessarily the case. We're required to restrict the airflow into the engine with two restrictors that we have here. And that actually cuts the engine horsepower down a bit and it's on power slightly less than your street car. We run a much larger air box to try to maintain some volume in the air box. The commonality in these engines is you have to use the street car heads and the street car block. Otherwise, other things can be modified, camshafts, pistons, valving, and that kind of stuff to work it on the dyno to make it better. The other difference between a race car and a street car would be the fact that we're allowed to use a rear wing to give us some rear downforce. This is a carbon fiber single element rear wing, meaning there's no, not multiple planes like the LMP cars. We're required to run a 15 millimeter gurney lip here. It gives us more downforce, but also gives us a little bit more drag. Also, the, the body work, at least the, the deck and the removable parts are all composite, which makes the car lighter and makes it faster. And one of the last things would be the comfort of the car. It's not going to be as luxurious as your street car, and that's one of the things Ferrari is known for, is not only the outside, but the inside looks. The other differences are going to be we have a gear shift and a functional dashboard. But this car may not be as quick as your street car down the straight, potentially, but will be faster in the corner on the brakes, and that's where races are won or lost.